Hey guys, the Fox here, and welcome to the Renaissance SMP series. So, yes, we are indeed back. Uh, a couple of stuff is really different from the first episode, I gotta say. Uh, actually, I should probably talk a little bit about this. So, if you don't follow me on Twitter, you should most likely do so, because... Over at Twitter, I made a poll asking what you guys preferred me to do on the Renaissance SMP series. I made a poll, which is gonna, its results are gonna be on the screen right now. So, as you can see by the results of the poll, the majority of the people that voted said that they preferred me in regards to my Renaissance SMP series. We're started uh, from the most recent events and stuff so I'm skipping everything that I did since the beginning and I'm starting fresh uh, it's episode 2 still because that's still gonna be considered a montage and still gonna be a f the first episode this is gonna be continuing as the second episode and this series is gonna be pretty up to date at, at this point which is pretty good if I'd say so myself because now I don't have to keep holding footage. So yeah guys, welcome to my Renaissance SMP series that I have going with 13 other people. So just to make it like the intro, the Renaissance SMP is a server that's made of a group of friends that met through the cube reddit. Uh, the server is private and whitelisted. And the only way of joining is basically through invitation. The members that we have currently are Brady, me, Toro, Woe, Denard, Joey, Jake, Electro, Baz, Loney, or Vacan, Bright Eyes, C Max, Salty Dog, Plays, and Darth TMC. So those are all the members of the Renaissance SP. As at this point, we have 14 members total. And yeah, so I, I guess I just needed to give this little introduction to the series a little bit of a more formal introduction. So we do have a couple of stuff for us to do in today's episode. You're gonna be seeing uh, clips about that. I'm actually doing something I'm not really used to do, which is recording the intro first. Basically that's it. I'm sorry if my voice is a little bit too weird, because I am a little bit sick at this moment, so... Yeah, not really a happy fox at this point. Live streams will continue, so don't worry about that. I will be continuing live streaming Renaissance SMP. However, I'm not gonna be doing any of the main work on the stream because I don't feel like that's a good idea. Because the main content should be reserved for the episode itself. So that when I live stream people that can't really watch my, my streams or whatever, they're not really gonna miss any trivial stuff. I'm, go I'm gonna be using the live streams to do like minor works or tweaks around places and stuff, like finishing a project maybe, which is something that people don't really, it's not really important. Starting the project and giving the idea is indeed important, so that those stuff are gonna be on the actual episode. Basically that's what I wanted to say, so I guess I'll see you guys back at spawn on the first clip. So I'll see you guys again in a little bit. Back at spawn. So let's do this pretty quickly because I think it would be a good idea to just do this tour as quick as possible. Just so you know, because I think a lot of you guys have already seen most of this stuff. Since I have been live touring the server during live streams and stuff, so yeah. So basically, this is the main spawn building. It was made by both Woe and Vake. It has been pranked, orange juice, of course, by Woe. Now, let's take this path right here. This is Woe's wood shack, which used to sell or just give for free stacks of wood, but it seems like it's out already. This is Quick Quartz. It used to be from Electro, but we we'll recently bought it off from him. So here it is. Here's the shop. This is the bulletin or whatever. This is where we put signs about important stuff. Spooky Pumpkins, B Blaine Brady, Fine Cat Cranberry, Joy was here, Halloween and Orange Juice are bad. I don't know who just said that. This is the experience which used to be from all but it's now Vakes. 
this right here is Electro's uh, Rose Room. Uh, we're gonna be doing an event here soon, I hope. He still has to organize a date for that. And this is a creeper hole that I think was made by Breddy's, so I'm not even gonna touch that. Toro's Bakery, he sells stuff like potatoes, bread, he sells even cookies, but you know, cookies doesn't, don't really have the best situation, but it's cool nonetheless. Bye, whoa. Uh, this is my flower shop, which is probably gonna change its function. Because collecting flowers is really a pain. I actually did have the footage of me building this shop, however, since I had to start fresh, uh, I decided to delete the footage. Um, actually, I, I think I didn't actually. I know I deleted a couple of stuff, but I'm not sure if I deleted the footage of the flower shop but still i think it was way too much time for me to put into this episode so this right here is jake's drugstore he sells things that are supposed to represent drugs and stuff he sells cocaine crocodile he sells weed meth and this is where you pay and basically there's this thing that every time you are at spawn uh, you're basically providing him with more drugs because he has a system to produce them automatically down here, which is pretty cool. Now, this is the known shop, I think. <coughs> Sorry about that. This is the known shop. It was made by Wool. Basically, if you have anything you're looking forward to give to someone, you basically leave it in a chest, and it's free to grab for anyone. So let's leave a couple of letters, I guess. I don't really have that much stuff to leave there. I'm using all of the resources I can at this point because of my volcano. So yeah, let's head towards this direction now. So this is Salty Splot. I think she's gonna sell something about chickens, because she has Cluquito, I think. And Cluquito provides her with uh, eggs. This is Jake's. I have no idea what this is gonna be. I remember he talked about this in his last epi episode. Uh, his horse is trying to peek his way out of the shop. This is Basement Inc's Bait and Tackle Shop, basically Bez Inc's uh, shop. He sells fish, he sells stuff related to fishing. Pretty pretty cool shop, if I'd say so myself. It's one of the prettiest ones here. Um, just the way it looks... Oh, oh, um, this should burn the torch down, shouldn't it? Oh well. So if we head towards this way, there's a new shop which I actually haven't checked. The Thanksgiving shop, which was made by, whoa, 50% of the profits goes to other Renaissance SMP members. <laughs> so this is for each uh, Renaissance SMP monthly member special. We might buy some stuff in here. Oh, wow. Oh, she has... She has rabbit stew. That's so cool. I never ate that in survival. Should probably do that, actually. Not right now. Yeah, not right now. Then there's this mail office. I, I had no idea about this. Brady, Fox, Turo, Walt, Denard, Joe, Jake, Electro, Baz, Vake, Bright, C Max, Salty, Darth, Book, and. Oh. There's none. Well, it's okay. This is so cool, actually. And it follows the same order that I did the names of, of the... Wait. Oh, she gave a diamond. Oh, she gave me a diamond, too. I move you, Fox. You're awesome. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Thank you so much. You're awesome, too. You're awesome, too. Whoa. Bay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mayo Post. I'm gonna give her something. I'm gonna rename this gold block. Where's an anvil? Oh, it was right here. So, here you go. Let's drop this back at the mail office. Where's Wolum's? Whoa. Oh, she has a letter. 
Oh, by Jake. I remember seeing this in his episode. Um, so this is the Nards, the monster deal. <laughs> he has actually pretty decent monster deals here, actually. He sells two stacks of lapis for one diamond. He sells 32 bucks for one diamond, which is amazing. 16 redstone blocks for one diamond! Is he crazy? Jesus Christ, this is a, one of the best deals I've ever seen. Oh, wow. One saddle, two diamonds. Whoa, that, that's a pretty decent price, I'd say so myself. Oh, and he's... Materials. Vacant's Breweria sells food. Beeria. Best shop ever. <coughs> I'm gonna buy from him later. I think this is Jake's. Is this shop ever gonna open? That's a good question. I think that was the Nard. Oh, and this is what I was calling the Nard Griefer on the stream. I hope he watches this video and figure out figures out why. It's because of the sign, basically. It's nothing really important. Um, this is Dars. Wheat shop. One wheat from one diamond. You basically just take one wheat. There used to be a diamond hoe in here. I think he retrieved it back. But then you had to replant it. So this is Will and Joe's cow co They sell cow meat. Pretty self-explanatory. And they do sell a bunch of leather as well. Down here there's Brady's Crypt. Which is not actually <laughs> what I intended it to be, honestly. Um, basically, I think Woe and Brady were messing around on the server, and then Brady just became AFK on this spot right here. And Woe made this crypt for him. Really creepy, I know. Their chup <laughs> pot claimed by... Let's just annoy the nerd a little bit. Plot claimed by... Mr. Denny. <laughs> Just to annoy him a little bit. So this is the orange juice shop. You can actually buy pretty good orange juice. Which is a fire resistance for 5 gold ingots. This is the Mesa shop from Joey. Yeah, it was turned upside down as a prank. Uh, did I miss anything? I don't think so. So let's go to the outskirts of spawn now. <laughs> so right here, we have the Pisa Tower, which is one of the greatest projects in the server. This is the podium for new members that I built when CMAC got around. As you will probably see, I'll link it on the side right here. Uh, there's the video of CMAC being introduced to the server. Creeper, this is the... oh. Well, I didn't intend to do this at all. But this is the um, auditorium, I think it's called. Let me see. There there used to be a sign. However, I don't seem to find it. It's either an auditorium or something like that. And this is supposed for us to do our presidential or king. King and queen um, speeches. Oh. Let me just do this real quick. Okay, so if we head down, maybe like this. So if we head down this way, this is right here where we, let me do this real quickly. So basically this is where we actually do announcements and stuff. This is where we announce the Monthly member special, the first one being Brady. That sign says about fine cranberry to to K15, so yeah. We think that unfortunately cranberry is not with us anymore. Don't tell that to Joe, however, he's pretty sentimental about that stuff. Yeah, so if we head this way now, this way off spawn, you will see there is a pranked library right here, which has been like this for quite a while now, because Electro actually doesn't have his computer, which is why he hasn't been posting any videos lately. He doesn't have his computer, it actually broke, so pretty unfortunate. This is Baz's Spooky Pumpkin Shop. 
I actually bought a lot of stuff from his shop, and I occasionally get these fancy eggs as well. Now, if we head this way, there's the greatest project of all lying right here. Let me just increase my render distance. I think you'll be able to see it already. Yep, that's the castle made by Wolum. Pretty massive build, if I should say. Look at this. <laughs> I get impressed every time I come in here because holy crap, just imagine all the resources she had to use in order to make this this castle. This is gonna be Oh no touch. Uh is the castle supposed to be locked like this? <coughs> this is weird. Oh, okay. Won't break in then. Oh, okay. I thought it was a prank. Let's check the inside of the castle really quickly. So this is the interior of the castle. It was made by wool. Pretty pretty good. Just look at this. This is amazing. I'd never be able to do something like this. Look at this. I I would never really never be able to do something like this. She made multiple rooms. The castle looks pretty amazing. I just don't have any words to describe this because I don't feel like any of the words I say are enough to suffice how impressed I am with this castle. Like, what was such a great builder? I wish they could be like, you know, a great builder like Baz or Woe. Because they really do amazing stuff just out of their minds, really. Which is something that really amazes me. I mean, my volcano can be close to that. Not really close to the castle, actually. Because the castle is pretty massive and amazing. But, like... I don't know, it's something that I've never done before, and it's an interesting experience for myself, so... I don't know, someday we'll get there. Someday, someday, eventually. So now, if we head towards this direction, I should probably go back through the roads that spawn, but I'm too lazy to do that, so... Yeah, well, let's just, you know, walk around like this. In the outskirts of Spoon. Oh, and the Netherrack works as a way of um, marking where the roads are going to be. So, as you can tell, there's a couple of Netherrack right here where the road is. This is a bridge. This bridge leads towards this other side, which in return leads us towards the Coliseum that I actually worked with Vake. And yeah. The Coliseum is looking pretty decent, I'd say so myself. Me and Vake, we did a really good job with it. Still, not as close to the castle, but still a big project. And there was a lot of stone involved in the project, actually. And we actually recorded a couple of clips in here. I really have no idea what this Nandorak is. I still need to ask people what the heck that is. So this is basically the Coliseum. The Coliseum has no cover because, you know, the real Coliseum doesn't have any cover. So there's the king spot right there. A uh, nice expensive chair right there. And this is the PvP arena. So we're gonna be doing a PvP event as well. We should try to get that going eventually because, you know, it has been uh, quite a while since we actually... Um, uh, did a community event, and still, I do need to work on uh, on Bright's statue and Vake's statue as well, because they were selected for the uh, Renaissance SMP monthly member special, or I guess two members per month now, which is pretty cool. So yeah, guys, I think this is basically spawn. I hope I'm not missing anything. Oh, I am missing something, but it's not really that important, I don't think, it's especially because it's a project of mine, so... 
really not important, not at this point at least. There's another bridge right here that leads towards this other side of spawn, which actually has the Titicaca Lake. Now, if you know, the Titicaca Lake is actually a lake that is in, a, in the Unges, I think? Altitude and stuff. So yeah, that's I think that's basically all we have to cover for spawn. So now, I think what I'm gonna be doing is checking how much time we have left in this episode. I hope we still have a couple of time, because I do need to get something for a friend. So I guess I'll see you guys in a little second. Yeah guys, unfortunately I just checked the time for today's episode and it's already way past 20, 20 minutes. So yeah guys, unfortunately I'm gonna have to do what Baz requested me to do in a later episode. I just wanna check really quickly if I do have any slime blocks that I could possibly lend to Mr. Baz already, because that would be pretty useful, I think. So I don't really need to go to the swamp uh, and kill some of these limes, because they are pretty annoying. I just want to check really quickly. Let me see. Mob drops. I do! Amazing! Nice! So we can make with this seven, and then conclude it with Eight. Exactly the amount that Mr. Baz has asked us to. Here you go, guys. So now the thing is properly placed in location. Here's your slime blocks. Heart fox. And like these slime blocks have been delivered, I am about to deliver this episode for you guys because, yeah, unfortunately we ran out of time, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Renaissance SMP. If you're happy that it's actually gonna be now a frequent series and that I'm actually gonna keep it up to date, make sure to tell me that in the comments. Make sure to like the video and share with people and stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye guys! Woo!